When the kids were at school, we did wonder what they would do with their lives when they left. And we were concerned there were so many options available, but we didn't push them in any particular direction. We just wanted them to be happy and do the thing that, that they love the most. And that was probably the most important thing, that they would really love their careers and their job. With my son, Jordan, he, when he was at school, he really loved art. He, loved, he did woodwork when he was in his junior years and he really loved that. He loved earth and environmental science and also design. So he, when he decided to become a landscaper, it wasn't really surprising. When he left school, he decided to go to TAFE and do landscape construction, uh, Cert 3 at Ride TAFE. Uh, he was really lucky to find an apprenticeship with a great company who support apprentices. Through his apprenticeship, he was able to go to World Skills. He won a gold medal at regionals and then went to nationals and won silver. From that, I didn't really expect the things that would happen after that. He won a scholarship, the BBM Youth Support Scholarship, and he went to the UK and worked for an exhibitor at the Chelsea Flower Show, which was the most incredible experience for him. When he came home, he started his journey on uh, Apprentice of the Year. So he won the, the Sydney Region Apprentice of the Year, New South Wales Apprentice of the Year, was runner-up Australian Apprentice of the Year, which was amazing. And then he also won the Landscaping New South Wales ACT Apprentice of the Year. From there, he went on to be a judge at World Skills and a mentor for the subsequent um, nominees for Apprentice of the Year at both a, a Sydney New South Wales level and national level. And um, he's also been a TAFE ambassador. So there are also some side benefits from um, Jordan going to TAFE as well. He built and designed and built the deck that I'm sitting on now. Uh, he also tiled our kitchen when we did our renovation. He, he'd never done tiling, but he figured that it was just paving up a wall. Both John and I are both really proud of both of our kids. Proud of them because they've been brave enough to do something that wasn't the traditional path of that many would have expected of them. I would say to parents to let them, to let your kids decide what they want to do. And don't, just because society says you have to go to university, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong, but it doesn't also necessarily mean that it's right. So let them figure out what it is they want to do in life and support them to follow their dreams rather than trying to push them into something that you might aspire to.